Let's have a round of applause for everyone. I will keep it short and sweet. Today we promoted three new black belts. That's a real big deal because it expands our family because that's what this is. When you hear about the history and the philosophy of Kung Fu, you often hear about the lineage. What else do you hear about lineage? When you're discussing someone's family, right? That's what this is. And as I said earlier, the acquisition of a black belt is the indicator for the school and for the instructor to know in his heart that that student is serious. That that particular student takes this art form into their heart and into their soul. And that that individual will travel on through the journey of life continuing to grow and grow and grow from the knowledge and continuing to spread the knowledge throughout the world, as the masters used to say, to make the world a better place. How do we do this? Kung Fu. Hard work for a long time. It is very common for young students to take a certain body of knowledge for granted. For example, many, many, many students will come and one of the first things that they learn is the breathing set that we refer to as Heikong. And commonly, the students will not practice this particular exercise very much. Why? Because they assume it must not be very important because I learned it early as a beginner student, as a white belt. But here they make a grave mistake because Heikong is the primary internal power exercise for iron hand iron palm training. So it's like they're given a piece of gold, they look at it, and they say, huh, that's pretty. And then walk on. Until one day in the future they realize what they did, and then they go back to look for it, and many times it's gone. Every form that you learn, every fist form, or weapon form that you learn. You must understand this is a great body of knowledge. Every form is a book of knowledge that will help to develop your skill and your understanding of the fighting arts, the internal arts, and all that will continue to develop your life and your character. Every form, every individual form that you learn has history, amazing history. To understand that the long fist forms that you do come from the Sung Dynasty. Okay, that alone should blow your mind that these folks were practicing the exact same movements that you're doing here today, a thousand years ago. The forms from the Shaolin Temple, these were the forms that were practiced by the monks that you see in the movies a thousand years ago, 1500 years ago. 
That's what this is. And sometimes, because of the lack of understanding of the student, the student will learn a body of knowledge as in a form, and as he progresses to other forms and other forms and other forms and other higher levels, they will discard what they learned earlier. With the assumption that because they learned it earlier, it's not as important as the knowledge that comes later on in the training. This is a big mistake. This is a big, 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 big mistake. Every form that you do, every form that you learn, I want you to see it as food. Food. Do you not consume it? You do, right? Do you not grow from it? Yes, you do. So even when you've been training in Kung Fu, I don't know, 50 years, I still practice my first form, Jab Si Ma. I still practice my first Shaolin form, Lin Bo Kun. I still do. As a matter of fact, I get more out of it now than I did as a beginner. Every form is food. It is food for your body, for your mind, and for your spirit. It kind of reminds me of a candle. You all know what a candle is, right? And what do we do with a candle? We light the wick, and what does the candle provide? Light. And what is the residue that the candle leaves? Wax, right? And can you get that wax and form it into a new candle? Yes, you can. How about that? So the candle is its own food. And it keeps on giving, and it keeps on giving, and it keeps on giving. That is Kung Fu. There is no limit to what you can achieve with these practices and these protocols. Keep in mind, understanding your Kung Fu is vital. It is not just the forms. There are other aspects of training that are important as well. One commonly ignored aspect of this practice is the history and the philosophy and the technique. As my master taught me, if you really want to understand Kung Fu, you have to understand the culture. You have to understand the history of the Kung Fu. You have to understand the Kung Fu that came out of the military, the Kung Fu that came out of the temples, and what's the difference and why. You have to understand the philosophy. Is this an internal style? Is this an external style? Is this an offensive style? Is this a defensive style? All of these aspects of the history, philosophy, and technique are vital to truly embrace the practice of the martial arts. Many people will compare and contrast and say, well, Kung Fu is great, but there are other styles. Judo, Jiu Jitsu, um, whatever. And that's true. They're all good. Just like religion. They're all good. They all provide something. They all feed you. To me, personally, there's something very important that is relative to the martial arts, and that is a 
economy. Economy of energy and economy of movement. In ground styles, or styles that practice wrestling and grappling and so on and so forth, let me ask you a quick question relative to the economy of movement and energy. What takes more energy? Getting on the ground and wrestling with somebody or throwing a punch? The ground, obviously. What about a kick? Does it take more energy to wrestle on the ground or to throw a kick? Correct. So relative to the economy of energy and the economy of movement, the striking arts are more effective. And we always say, we always say, if you go to the ground, you already lost. Do you know why we say that? Because of the military history. When you're at war, if you fall down, you're dead. You're dead. If you go to the ground, somebody's gonna grab a spear and go like that and they go to kill the next guy. Because that's what war is. It's all about one thing. How many people did you kill today? How many villages did you conquer? Right? So, never assume that you have understood it all. Because the minute that you do, you will stop learning. I have had tens of thousands of students throughout decades of teaching. And most of them have grown by the training. Some of them have grown and then reverted back or backwards even further in their personal evolution. Because what happens, the skill and the knowledge and the power gets to their head. And then their ego explodes. We actually have people that go around um, insulting our practice, insulting our school, insulting me, insulting my grand uh, students, insulting the grand master, saying that, oh, the grand master, look, his position is wrong here and is wrong there. These are people that we have reached out to help develop. And the thanks that we have received is a stab in the back. It is very common. It is very common. There are at least three people in this town right now that I taught that decided to quit the school and run around saying, oh, I'm the master, I'm the teacher, I'm the, I'm the self-proclaimed master. That title is worth the equivalent of a used piece of toilet paper. It means nothing. And by their actions and by their words, they show just how little they learn. So I congratulate you all on your journey. And I encourage you to continue your practice regardless of any condition. Because remember, as I said, every form is a piece of food, okay? And that food regenerates itself. Because usually food, you eat it and it's gone, right? This food regenerates itself. Do not make the mistake of ordering a beautiful filet mignon, taking a quick taste of throwing it away. Do not make the mistake. Take your time, savor it. Enjoy it. Notice the flavor. Notice the smell. Notice how it enhances your body. Because that filet mignon is like your kung fu. It is food. And I think that most of you are old enough to understand that you never know, you throw away food. The only time that you throw away food is when it is rotten, like the renegades. All together, joint, show currency, bow.